Okay, cheap construction. They don't make them like they used to. Well, okay. What? The f oh no. Why would you do this? Uh, you know what? All things considered, it's fine. This map just looks like heck. Heck and hack hand basket. Big immediate problem is just a utter lack of. Potential resources. At least I can take three of these. This is a little bit better than Turtle. Not by much, though. Alright. Looking at this... I think I'm just going to rush a Terp. And then we'll think about the rest. Because the whole world is going to dissolve. Which I'm actually really curious about how that's going to look. At least I start with all the minerals near me. Kinda. It's going to take a little bit to hold this. And yeah, this is all... Creep Duplicator. Okay. My thoughts are... We just kind of try and take this lowland area. I'm gonna try and hold that. This is the area that spooks me the most. But I'm kind of hoping this... The land is just bottoms out and leaves this nice great divide for us. Okay. What we want to do... ...is... ...wall that off. And yeah, grab... ...grab these before we lose them. We might honestly lose the, uh... ...the Terp for this. I don't think... ...I don't think so. I think I'll be okay. And we're good. Alright. You get back there. I'm not I'm not even gonna try guns at start. It's just all terp all time all the time. Alright, let's turn this on times four speed. Because this is not a map where the uh my enemies are going to scale wildly out of my, my control. Uh, that gives me an amount of leeway here. However... I did just hear the, uh, the warning that, of course, there's going to be spores. Looks like they're not aiming at me yet. How's the wall looking? Eh, okay-ish. Okay, so I'm just going to do... Let's not do this section. This section doesn't need to be terraformed out nearly as bad. Like, I, I need the power. But that's all I need. Uh, ooh, terraform. Shift click that. Yeah, I might level some of this out, but it's more important to just have vaguely leveled grounds that I can fight from. And currently, it looks like I can fight from this. It is going to be a journey reclaiming all this land.
But that's okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't notice we had the, the little digitalis bouncers. At least they're only on the digitalis. They're cute little suckers the way they move, but annoying all the same. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna let this flow for a bit. I don't really have too much of an immediate option here as like the world's gonna fill up around me. Not, not much I can do to stop that. And then eventually what we're going to want to do is put enough holes in them that I can turret... I mean, I might even just try turret rushing specifically on top of this. And then holding that spot and using that to attack them while this area just slowly terraforms itself. Maybe? Maybe. Let's see. Can I put the urns on the terps? True. I think more than that, what we need... One of these bad boys, but... I don't have the room for it. Uh, let's see. I really wish you could actually terraform under your own structures. That'd just be such a nice little change of pace. Yeah, my biggest problem is just energy gen in this. I only have 7.2. But luckily, the uh, enemy creep hits kind of an upper limit. I don't actually remember where it says what the upper limit is. I know it's there. Like, you can have a maximum amount of... Uh... Oh, yeah. The land is just gone, gone. I like that. Okay. Anything else? Or are we just living living in the slow lane? I think I'm just gonna live in the slow lane for the time being. We'll we'll build up our kind of land location here. Because if I can take all of this for myself, then we can use it for power gen. Let's see. If you made use of moat principles to force creeper to fill them before it goes in the next moat to slow down the creeper and faster counterattack, you can do that. Yeah, I, I've I've used moats in the past, generally to great effect. Oh. Bathtub. There we go. It's not the most interesting, but it is effective and it is functional, and that is all I need. Bathtub again? I love bathtub. It's so good. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, it just needs to be bathtub. And it looks like one of these is exactly enough for one blue right crystal. Oh yeah, half. Well. Derp the sprayer. Don't think it would help. It just increases the... Well, you mean earn the sprayer. But, uh... Putting an urn in the sprayer makes it spray faster, but it doesn't make it spray more efficiently. At least to my knowledge. But also, I don't know how much it matters. Let's see, how many anti-creeper spawns can you make? Uh, so, it's effectively, for every point of uh, blue gain that I have up here, uh, making anti-creeper, I can have one sprayer. So currently, I can have one sprayer. If I can get over to this, I can get another one. And then, same thing up here. So, ultimately, I can get about three on this map.
Looks like we're almost done with the massive terraforming project. And we'll have the urn portal down soon. Cool. Oh, there's emit mode. That's that's when I know the enemy creep has uh has capped. I remembered it was somewhere, I just didn't remember where. Okay. I'm just gonna put points into energy collection. Okay, ah, look at this. Uh, let's see, do I want to put... You know, this will slow down the bathtub a little bit, but it'll help me fill the gaps. I'm going to put the uh, the anti-creep sprayer up here. That way it just evenly flows over. Okay, next order of business. We're gonna need some snipers. I actually have energy. It's a weird feeling. Let's fill this out. All right, back to this. So I'm just going to be the weird dude that just slowly makes this plateau for myself. Cause I can't get any I can't get up to anything terribly fancy right now. Actually, you know what? We're kicking him back pretty hard. Maybe instead of that. Make this a bit smaller. Oh. What size did I set this at? Oh no. I accidentally lowered everything. I did not mean to do that. Well, it's fine. I think it only did a smidge of damage. So I'm going to set that up. Yeah, looking at this, I I guess first and foremost, it's a little expensive, but historically, this rocket is actually really good. I usually just ignore it because I'm a dunderhead. I was really expecting this to be generating so much more, but the answer is... It's generating it all back here, so as long as I just start start shooting, we should be able to take some of these locations. Okay. I guess I might as well just get a couple of these. If there's nothing particularly deep about the area that I'm working with around here, I'll definitely want to work for, work on getting this section and holding it. Let's see. Because if I can get another one of these... Oh, it disabled me temporarily. Rude. If I can, if I can take this plateau and turn it into a little micro-fortress, 
I'll be a happy camper. Stop stunning me. Yeah, I don't think you like that. Okay, looks like we've kind of got this. Yeah, we got it. Big kind of. Okay, I'll mess with one mortar up there. See if I can just start clearing this area. I just never took that area. Okay. Move my terps up. Okay. So next order of business. Probably just hooking this up. I'm just going to move this over here. Because, yeah, if I, can, if I can have this, like, whole area, I'm actually... Frankly, shocked that I managed to yoink this, but I think I just have kind of this like uh, functional terror that has lasted after that last map. That last map was brutal, and so everything else for me is just kind of like, oh yeah, this could go bad again, right? It has been surprisingly kind. Okay, put that there. Still going to be kind of tough taking and holding this location. Uh, let's see. Give another terp. Yeah, the real test is going to be getting onto this plateau. It actually doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. But that's okay. Well, let's see. I just use turrets to keep the creep at bay and let anti-creep slowly work its magic. I like turret rushes. I'm an impatient person. I think so much of it has to do with the fact that I'm recording this for YouTube. Um, 275 eggs. 281 eggs. Oh, God. Well, on the plus side, what I'm probably going to do is... Uh, Just put a Rage Sniper at it and watch from afar and equally hope for the best. Okay, so I have the rocket. Everything is good. Let's see. My biggest limitations are my lack of funding. So let's see if I can fix that up just a bit. Yeah, this area is going to be dicey. I think it's probably going to be better for me to just go overboard with cannons kind of right here. My logic is, uh, let's see, let's go special, M-Rift. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of leave guns everywhere uh, and some extra M-Rifts and kind of future-proof against the idea of... Uh... of a potential outbreak when I'm not paying attention. Like so. I most definitely was not paying attention there. And I should have been. Okay. Fluid physics are mesmerizing. It's frankly incredible. I... I have no idea what the... Like, how feasible it would be. But I'd love to see the Creeper World games, like, actually scale up in budget.
Oh, that's just inconvenient. Yeah, the one problem with this ridiculous setup is... I don't have good line of sight, and so a lot of these little goons can just get at me. And that's throwing me way off. Okay. I think this I think this worked out. We'll have this area shortly, and I might even be able to take this whole section. So what's with the anti-creep in the hole? Uh so eventually this fills up entirely and overflows, and I can use that as a um as kind of a defensive offensive measure. Currently, I'm not using it as such because I wanted to fill this up, but then we switched back over to full bathtub protocol. Actually, speaking of... Nope. I missed always on. There we go. Big rude. Yeah, clearing this out is going to take a little bit of time. We've tried this up shockingly well. I don't know what this is doing. It doing... It's doing its own thing. Okay, how am I doing power generation-wise? Because I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's time for us to play. Because I've, I've got my base in a in a nicely defensive location. Everything is good. There's still a little bit of a threat of dudes sneaking up via the corners of my base that I have not particularly well defended. But I think at least to some degree, we can make our cannon rush. Yeah, I'd absolutely love to see Knucklecracker, uh, you know, go at Creeper World 5 with, like, a bigger budget and really go to town. You know, just new features, new structures, um, even better visuals, so on and so forth. Okay, so we're probably going to lose some of the guys on the lower section here. But that is okay by me. Oh yeah. We're definitely going to lose the lowest of the low. They're dead zone and dunzo. Oh, and we immediately get stunned. Okay. Get a mortar down. Okay, I think I'm going to sack a couple of these guys just to do some extra damage while I'm here and give me some range for some mortars. Okay. My main goal, do as much damage as possible in such a concentrated space. Pretty much these entire sections will never stop firing. Or at least should never stop firing. And I can use that to cut him down pretty hard. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, this bathtub here of his is starting to fill up. Because the more damage I do out here, the more... That's so many eggs. Uh, the more damage that I do out here, 
Oh. How about this? I'm gonna get one turp. Do I not have room? I don't have room. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Terraform. Copy this. Make this place mine. Okay, let's see if I can get another one of these guys out here. Because it seems like our biggest issue is a lack of funding. I wish I could tell it to go to an invalid place. Okay, would you prefer open worlds with many worlds can move between planets semi-active war campaigns. You mean like Mindustry? No, I prefer the level based system. Mindustry is real neat. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and I absolutely like adore that game. But uh, because of how Mindustry is, is organized like I lost interest really fast uh, and just stopped playing because it just, you know, it wasn't as fun fun for me anymore. You know, I wouldn't mind some kind of... I'm almost going to say a meta progression between... Um, between missions. I, I don't know how many of you guys have played, like, Starcraft, Starcraft Wings of Liberty. But there were upgrades that you could get. Optional upgrades for, for different structures and uh, units. And those would have, like, a, a demonstrable effect on... you know, how a unit works. And I found that to be actually quite compelling. Okay. Put another one of these guys over here. I found that really compelling, and I, I wish more RTSs had that. Oh, let's see. Convert some creep for extra time. Uh, eh. We'll get there. I usually save my big hits for my real big hits. Okay. That way we can take that. How's this looking? Better. Much better. Okay, you're going to be Arg. I'm going to get get an M rift back here. Okay, special M rift. The other thing we're going to need, badly... Okay, this is annoying me. going to stop a couple of those waves while I get this sorted. As soon as I get this M rift down, we're good. I just have to keep them from from getting over. Okay. There we go. Let's see, have you thought of making your own map? Uh, not really. Not too interested. 
It seems like it would be kind of fun, but it would take a long time. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay away from the, uh, the creeper breeder. But if I can take a lot of this upper area and just hold it for my own, that'll work well for me. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'd also like to get rid of that stash. It's these stashes. They're they're causing the the big splashes that are getting over my getting over the edge. Okay. Gosh, this looks awful. However, we are pushing him back kind of slowly. Slowly. Get a cannon or two. Let's see, if I can push them back this... Looks like this isn't any... This doesn't have any anti-creep on it. Should be able to just... Kind of slowly take it. It's still gonna take a while, though. They're at 500 eggs. Like, jeez. Hey, thank you, Oe the Owen, for the three-year resub. Three years I've been here, and it's been a blast every second. Hope the world gets... Uh, hope the world gets a little bit less creepy. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, Bathtub's overflowing. That's nice. And... I should be able to hook that up now. There we go. Lost a little bit. But yeah, if I can get a pair of snipers here, this becomes mine. If I can just push them back over here. We might want to put together a runway. Maybe. Those tend to be kind of expensive, though. I think Battle Plateau is probably my best option. I don't know. Like, as far as creep goes, we haven't actually made much of a dent here. All the anti-creep certainly does not... Or, all of the, uh, the creep breeder does not help. Okay. So now we've got three of these. I'm just gonna put a sprayer here and just turn it always on. Kind of push them out here. Because this area has no breeders on it, so if I can just remove them from this location, it just becomes mine. Ugh. Big issue in general is just pushing back into this in a way that isn't just going to be a massive waste of resources. I don't know. No, you... Well, okay. There is an easy way. Really? It's like no creep there, but it just keeps popping up. If I can take out this emitter... That'll do the trick. Okay, and then more mortars. We want more mortars. I'm just gonna take that down a notch.
Okay, there we go. I didn't take it wholly, but I kind of didn't need to. Okay, next up. We're just going to do a light turret rush here. Create squad. Because if I can take that the top of that hill that takes out a third of their creep generation and gives me potentially this whole upper area just for my own purposes. That super didn't work, but I got rid of the egg. All right, create a squad. A cannon Kaze. I, it's one of my favorite strategies. Holy shit, they've actually managed to push him back pretty hard there. Okay. I don't think this is going to work. Mainly just because this thing outputs way too damn much. Okay. They got it. They kind of got it. There we go. Because if I can nullify on top of this hilltop and then kind of hook them together, we don't have to worry about this area. Nullified. Hilltop is vaguely mine. Now I just gotta get some more terps up in here. Uh... Okay, and I do not actually want to have a... I do not want to point a sniper out here too much. as that could cause some serious problems. Cannons like to get very aggressive. Okay, next up, we're also going to need a decent amount of power. The nice part is the anti creeps have been pushing them back pretty far. Kind of without m my direct influence here. So I can just let that go. Alright. Next order of business, we try and take this hilltop. I might want to. I might want to put them in a position. Well, I don't know. That's starting to spill over. Here. Seeing as this area is unequivocally mine, I'll just make sure that I can slowly deplete them over here. Unfortunately, the more I deplete anywhere else on the map, the more these output. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, emit mode versus not emit mode, effectively, if this is below maximum, uh, or the creep will scale up to this point uh, in terms of creating creep. So if it hits off, then it's done and it won't put it on anymore. Uh, to prevent you from getting overwhelmed. It's a neat system. I, 
I'm not sure if I like it necessarily, purely just because I like the challenge of things scaling wildly out of control, but I also know that, like, the last map I did was brutal and could put me in a really bad spot if, like, the whole game was like that. Obviously, if it gave me more technology to deal with things like that, I think it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, right. Should probably get a missile launcher at this point. I'll get two. Oh, uh, do I still have this one? I should have a terp here. You. Let's speed up one of these terps. There we go. This will give me some space. It would be nice for extreme difficulty for the removal of such safeguards. Yeah, I kind of wish it was an option. You know, just turn off the safeguard. Let's see how bad it gets. Realistically, I would have lost, though. Like, I would have lost super hardcore. I guess if you want to know what that looks like, the just any map with the Creeper++ plus plus modifier turned on. Whenever that happens, it's just immediately like, hey, do you like losing? It is invariable. Alright, what else do I want to do? Anti-creep on my side. I could move it out here, but I don't think that would actually be a good idea. I'm just going to get get some more energy production. I'm looking at it, and we're actually we're red lighting pretty hard. Let's see. Now, how's this doing? I mean, all the all the terps are in fact doing work. Let's just kind of spread some of these cannons out. Okay. Are there any other turrets that make anti creep? There are bombers that do. The big issue is just that I I require more Vespane gas. I even if uh, even if there were other bombers and abilities that would let me create uh anti creep, I'm I'm functionally incapable of doing so, at least at the moment. Uh do I wanna have just a basic sprayer here? I'll have one. Did I have a sprayer on top here? I do. I was going to split it a bit. There we go. But yeah, just a little bit of anti-creep goes a long way. Speaking of, move it over here. Because yeah, a number of these little gaps have just like a smidge of creep in them. about constructing additional pylons. Do I look like Protoss to you? Man. It's like, I really want to go back and play the StarCraft games at some point kind of soonish. But, like, so much of me is just, like, salty at Blizzard just becoming Activision++. plus plus. Like, I really... I don't know. 
I really want to see the RTS genre return. And f uh, fulfill? I don't know, just something. I just miss the days when, like, I would play custom maps with StarCraft or, uh... Or, you know, get really deep in the campaign, start over, run through the whole dang thing. There is still at 500 eggs. I... I have no idea how I'm gonna deal with that. I have a big custom map collection from... StarCraft 1. Damn! I... What I'd like to do, potentially, is is try and convince, like, Wholesomeverse to do a, uh, a StarCraft Arcade day. But even then, it's just like... But it's Blizzard. I know it means nothing, but it's just like, ah. Surprised the mortars aren't killing the eggs. The eggs will only pop if they are uh, if they are released into open air, uh, fully into open air for like an X amount of time. It's actually making my life a lot easier here. <laughs> so where's the next emitter? We've got a couple. They're all in the worst places. Okay. I guess I gotta just move these guys out. If I can take this rock, then I can potentially at least put holes in the stash. The sooner I get these stashes to stop moving, uh, the sooner this whole thing just kind of becomes an even C. And that gives me a huge amount of leeway with what I do and where I go. There we go. Oh, here. Get rid of that for a second. I want to take the rest of this platform. Okay, get that there. I have no idea if these guns are going to be able to make it. Well, I got a power thread to it. It might be able to hold its own here. 